1960s to the early 1970s, there was a dramatic increase in the student population at Chico State. One of the buildings constructed to help manage these new students was a new life sciences complex, a $5 million project that began in late 1969. This 62,401 square foot building was built in three sections over a period of three years and is three stories tall. One of its most important rooms is an herbarium, which was included in the design so that Chico students could further examine plant life in a temperature-controlled room. The architect for the project was John Carl Warnicke and Associates of San Francisco, and the contractor was Continental Heller Corporation. Faculty member William L. Stevens helped plan the life sciences facility. In 1974, the building was dedicated to Chico State faculty member from 1926 to 1957, Vesta Holt and is now commonly known as Holt Hall. Butte Hall. Named after Butte County, the seven-story building is the second tallest building here on campus. Designed by architect Crawford and Banning of San Rafael to hold 3,000 students and 110 faculty offices. Butte Hall was constructed by contracting firm Robert G. Fisher, company of Fresno, and completed in 1972 using 89,000 square feet of space. Butte Hall houses nine departments in addition to holding anthropology labs, a geographic map room, and a computer center. Myth says that Butte Hall is haunted because there are beliefs that Butte Hall was constructed over an Indian burial ground. Could this be true? For now it simply lies as a myth. Plumas Hall, named after the Plumas County, was part of the late 60s, early 70s campus growth. Completed in 1972, this 64,000 square foot facility was designed by architectural firm Theodore Osmundson and Associates of San Francisco. Currently, Plumas Hall holds the Ag Departments, the Orion, and other program offices. Originally, Plumas Hall was designed to house the Applied Art Department. In 1974, the cylindrical building standing behind me was originally built as a storage unit for the Merriam Library. However, in 1975, it was remodeled as a planetarium designed by Dr. William Hunziker, a geological and physical science professor at Chico State. Most of the funds were donated from James and Betty Roth, in which a year later the planetarium was dedicated in their name, the Roth Planetarium. And because of their generous donations to Chico State, students can now enjoy stargazing at any time of day. Named after a neighboring county, Tehama Hall was completed in 1992. This 90,000 square foot facility was, des was designed by Natch and Lewis Architects of Sacramento. They used the same brick exterior as the O'Connell Technology Center, which was completed in the same year. Uh, this building houses a number of departments, including the College of Business, Communications, Journalism, and Recreation and Parks Management. The O'Connell Technology Center is a 75,000 square foot, four-story building in which houses the College of Engineering and Computer Science and Technology. Its construction was completed in 1992 by Alan L. Bender Incorporation of Sacramento. Fundings for this building came from Proposition 78 and which passed in 1988. Soon after the completion, the building was named in honor of John F. O'Connell, who was a Chico State football star and student body president during his stay here in Chico. Bell Memorial Union was first completed in 1969 and has always been run by the Associated Students. In December 1998, remodeling construction was begun at the BMU. The new addition created a total area of 133,000 square feet and included conference rooms, a game room, and a 1,000 seat auditorium. 
The grand opening for this new and improved BMU was held September 6, 2001. The BMU takes its name from Hugh M. Bell, who was a faculty member in the psychology department from 1928 to 1967. Bell was instrumental in planning and funding the BMU because he looked at the building as a place for students to gather and to share ideas. In fall 2006, construction began on the new Student Services Center across from Merriam Library. This four-story building covers 120,000 square feet and should be opened by the fall 2008 semester. This center will assist current as well as prospective students with over 20 services, from academic advising to printing Wildcat ID cards. Construction for the Wildcat Activity Center began in fall 2007. When complete, it will be two stories tall and 109,000 square feet, which includes a fitness facility, a pool, a gym, and much more. The WAC is southwest of campus, and as you can see, it is still in the beginning stages of construction. Well, that concludes the construction history from 1970 to 2008. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sure that very soon there will be even more buildings to learn about here on the Chico State campus.